Hey East Valley, Kaylee here, your Get Out Guide. I am at the Focus Climbing Center here in Mesa, and we got an exclusive interview with the owner, Joe Zerdinski. So the end of May, we're having an um, open house, kind of celebrate our second anniversary of being open. Um, so we're really excited about it, and we've been looking at new things to do, just trying not to do the same old, same old. Um, so to kind of get everyone in and having a fun time, um, we're offering discount day passes that day. As you can see from the big wide open design of the facility, it limits the amount of different coves or little air, smaller areas for people to kind of get segregated, if you will. Um, so it's a very big community space, which allows all the climbers to interact, have fun together, act as a community, not just a bunch of climbers in a gym. Generally, there's always someone who's climbing the thing that you're struggling with. So it's really easy to be like, hey, how did you do that? Can you give me some advice? And if there's one thing about climbers, they love to tell you how they can do something. When you first walk in, it's a little bit overwhelming. When you look at the walls, you're like, holy cow, there's so many colors of tape on here, I don't know what to do. So each color or pattern of tape is a, a design path that um, the people that design the routes make up. Um, so for example, um, one of the things that you would start out on is you look at this hold and this is a green taped climb. So you would just look for, first step would be to find all the different colors of tape that are green. So you're like, okay, I've got one here, I've got one here, I've got a big one over here and you're just trying to keep following where that tape goes to try and find where your how your climb is going to go as far as like physically climbing works every single muscle in your body from down to your fingertips all the way down to your toes core legs back shoulders neck absolutely everything I've been rock climbing since 2008 and I love climbing outdoors I'm definitely a boulder at heart but Sometimes to really get the training in, you have to go to an indoor gym. So as soon as I moved to Arizona, I happened to come upon Focus Climbing Center. You're always gonna find people to chat with, talk about climbing, talk about other things. It's always a really good time and you get to climb. So that's always a good thing too. 